2024 St. Louis Visionary Awards next on City Corner. I'm Sarah Thompson and welcome to City Quarter. Well, it's that time of year where the St. Louis Visionary Awards honors women who work in or support the arts right here in St. Louis. And so today we're gonna learn more about the 2024 honorees of the St. Louis Visionary Awards. And later in the show, we're gonna speak with one of this year's honorees. I'm now joined by Roseanne Weiss. She is the chair of the St. Louis Visionary Awards. And like I said, it's good to see you this time of year. It always yes. sort of marks the, the springtime. That's uh, exactly right. To see you, and, and this is great. We've got another uh, class of honorees. And, and here we are again. Exactly. It's, you know, you always think, are we going to get another group of amazing women? And we do every year. We had 100 nominations this Did year. You? And we have eight categories, and we pick six six awardees every year, and they're just always amazing. That's that is that's a wonderful. I mean, that's a wonderful turnout for the nominations. Yes. That's incredible. So let's kind of get into what do you think makes? I mean, each year it is like each year that you go, and each year that I read about the honorees, they are very distinguished. Um, and what do you think makes this group unique this year? You know, it's 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 a wonderful group. Um, it's it's a combination of people who are performers and out there in our community. And then there's a few of the women who are sort of behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And I don't think a lot of people know them or know what they do. So that'll be really wonderful to be able to sort of introduce people. You know why we have all this great public art? Well, let me show you the person who does that. Yeah. You know, so those kinds of things I think are one of the reasons to come. Yes, yes, yes. And we were just looking at that shot of, of the group photo. So let's kind of get into it. We'll first start off with this year's honorees. Maybe you can walk us through them. Sure. And then we can talk about the awards uh, celebration. So first we have Heather Beal Himes. Um, tell me about Heather. So Heather is a performer and a dancer. She is trained in um, Dunham technique, mm -hmm. Catherine Dunham, which is very unusual and quite wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, and you will see her in many, many plays around St. Louis. Yes. Uh, you know, I think people will recognize yes, Heather. We'll yes. She's one of them not behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. And a nice tie to St. Uh, uh, sort of additional tie to St. Louis with Catherine um, Dunham. That's, so that's right. That's fantastic. And then Elizabeth Mannon Burgess. So Elizabeth is um, a philanthropist and um, knows very much about what's going on in the art scene in St. Louis. And she and her husband, Jim, have just been incredibly supportive of many things that go on in St. Louis. And you'll see their names in a lot of different places. And we really just wanted to honor how, how Elizabeth works within our community. Yes. Yes, yeah, no, that's great. And then we've got Shauna Flanagan, and I, I, I mean, I've met Shauna decades ago, actually, through COCA, and she's been at COCA for a long time. She has been at COCA, and I consider Shauna one of those people who's behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Shauna has done everything at COCA. She has just been a dynamo, mm -hmm. sort of working to make these things happen that you see happen at COCA, but usually Shauna's hand is in it. Right, and you're not quite sure who's who's behind them. And then Meredith McKinley, um, Outstanding Arts Professional category. Yeah, so Meredith is, um, she's got a company called Via Partnership. And Meredith works with many organizations um, to make public art happen. Mm. And she's uh, consulted with the Regional Arts Commission. She has consulted all over this country and created public art plans for cities. Oh, and Meredith um, has done a, a, some work downtown, and you just you can see Meredith's hand in a lot of public art projects. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. interesting. And uh, and Luisa Otero Prada, who is also going to be our guest in the second half of the show. Um, without saying, tell me more about Luisa. Yeah, yeah I, here so in the so Luisa uh, is getting the Community Impact Artist Award. That's right, and she deserves that award. <laughs> um, Luisa is is an artist with her own practice, her own studio practice, and makes paintings. But, the, but one of the reasons she's getting the Community Impact Award is that she has done a lot of public work, a lot of murals, in collaboration with other people. Mm 
She is the youth coordinator for Bread and Roses Missouri. Mm -hmm. And she just, um, she is around town yeah. and, and really one part of our community and, and she'll tell you more yes, about it. Yes, I know, I'm looking forward to, to speaking with her. And then Alexa Seda, yes. did I say her last name? Yes, name okay. yes. Alexa is actually an urban planner okay. who's gotten into the arts because of theater and film. And she's got um, an organization she works with called STL Encore, and she's winning for emerging artists. Oh, fantastic! That's great. What an I, each year you are right. There's an, such an interesting selection, and so people come together. And we should. This is an award celebration, so it's a. Tell me about the the presentation that's going to um, happen on. I guess it's April 29th. That's yes. right, April 29th. And this year, you know, we have hosts every year, and this year, Min Young Kim who's the oh. director of the St. Louis Art Museum, and Margaret uh, McDonald, who is um, a principal at HOK, are okay. our two hosts, and we're thrilled about them. Yeah. Um, so that'll be great, mm -hmm. and uh, we, so we do an hour-long um, event with the Big Muddy Dance Company oh, performing, and also a pass to honoree, the poet, and spoken word artist, Patia Elaine Anderson. Mm. So you not only get to be inspired by our honorees, you will also be inspired by some performers. Right, So, and that takes place at the Sun Theater, and That's we've right. got one of the, the photos of that. And so there's a whole presentation ceremony. Right. There is, and then, yeah, that's the wonderful sun. <laughs> and if you've not been in it, it's just a beautiful theater. It is, yeah. And it's a great place. And then you, you can sort of see in that picture the tent next door, mm -hmm. and that's where the party happens <laughs> afterwards. And we'll offer you a viz fizz <laughs> in a toast in the oh, celebration. That's nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got exactly. some photos as we talk. We can yeah. look at some of the photos from the past years. But the celebration, I will say from going in the past, that is uh, the party tent, right? That's right, where exactly. everyone gets to, to chat and take um, take photos. So you mentioned this year that I, I want to let people know the selection process. How does that work? People just nominate during your nomination phase? Sure. Um, we open the nomination phase at the end of the summer, beginning of the fall. We usually do a kickoff to announce it so, so we can make a deal out of it, right? <laughs> And um, we just try to let everyone know. And there's um, the categories that, that the folks are winning in, and then there's a couple others. And we just say, you know, if you don't know what category this person fits in or mm -hmm. they fit into more than one, just say that. It's yes. fine. Uh, and we really add actually a little more than 100 nominations this wow. year. So we, we have a selection committee. There's a couple board members. And then we have um, more uh, folks from the community who understand the arts world and, um, you know, when they're reading something, they're always amazed when there's people they don't know, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the really fun part because we get to know people that we haven't seen before either. Yeah, I mean yeah. the arts. So St. Louis. I mean, we, you know, we talk about this each year, and I was I wanted to update my my data because I was pulling from the Regional Arts Commission um, their latest statistics, where I think it was saying for 2022, if I get if I turn over my notes correctly, it was the arts contributed 868 million dollars to the St. Louis economy in 2022. That's for St. Louis County and St. Louis City right. uh, together. I believe that they put in their study, and this was from the Business Journal that reported that. So I mean, we're looking at and people. I know in a sports town like St. Louis, people sometimes overlook the arts play a major role in, in terms of the industry and workforce here. You know, the statistics are that more people go to arts, arts events than they do to sports events. Yeah. So and you, you, know, and you would never know it, right? You would never know that from the kind of coverage. So one of the reasons that we are doing something like the St. Mm -hmm. Louis Visionary Awards and concentrating on women mm -hmm. is, is that, that we need to make visible and we need to amplify the contributions that people are making mm -hmm. to the arts and to our community. You know, this is not just for a small group of people, especially here in St. Louis where there's so much art that's accessible and easily accessible. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's music in the streets or free museums or very inexpensive kinds of uh, venues, anybody can go, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's really for all of us. Mm -hmm. And then of course, I believe that women don't get the kind of attention that they should get. And when, when you and I were speaking earlier, yeah. we were talking about some statistics that women just are not making as much as men do still yes. in the arts probably in every other situation yes. too, but particularly in the arts. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, that's, it's a really interesting 
area to explore because I think we've hit this kind of stage where where people are like, well, why why do we need to honor people? But I think they're not understanding the full you know sort of context and right. the bigger picture. So we know on the one hand, I think that the arts have been this sort of welcoming industry for women, whether it's visual, performing arts, all across the board, um, and that women are a creative force, whether they are the artists themselves or the people running on the administrative side, on the business side. But to your point, I was looking at some stats that I had pulled off the National Museum of Women in the Arts, and I mean, it was saying, like, here's one, women earn 70% of Bachelor of Fine Arts degrees and 65 to 75% of Masters of Fine Arts degrees in the U.S., though only 46% of working artists across all arts disciplines are women. Right. And then, yes, when you get into the dollar, the earning the dollar, it was saying nearly half of visual artists in the United States are women. On average, they earn 74 cents for every dollar made by male artists, and that's from the National Endowment for the Arts. So, I mean, and this is specifically visual arts, right. not even getting into performing arts and other areas, but women are still, despite on seemingly present, uh, the optics of it, there's still a lot more work to be done. And I think with the Visionary Awards, at least as it relates to this region, is sort of honoring women who are making that happen. You just don't know that they are. Right, yeah. exactly. And that really is our job, is mm -hmm. to make that visible mm -hmm. and valued. Mm -hmm. uh, and for people to understand and recognize what goes on here to, for you to be able to enjoy the kinds of things that you can enjoy here. I mean, you've been involved in the arts for a long time here in St. Louis. What, what, how would you describe the progress or change that you see in your opinion? Well, you know, I think we're kind of spoiled because a lot of our institutions are run by women now. The symphony is. Mm -hmm. The St. Louis Art Museum has its <laughs> first, first female director. Um, the Regional Arts Commission has, has a female director. So you can see women in leadership positions around, and that feels really good. And, and if you can see it, you can be it, right? Mm -hmm. So I think all of that is incredibly important. Um, I think one of the things that's happened is that the arts in general might be a little more valued than they used to be. Yeah. Um, statistics like the, mm -hmm. the ones that you just uh, mentioned from, from the um, National Endowment for the Arts and the the impact financially, mm -hmm. uh, economically, while I don't always like to talk about the arts that way, I think it's important to note it, yeah. um, that this is not just a, a hobby. Mm -hmm. These are people's businesses. Right. And it might be a not-for-profit, but it pays people. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, I, many moons ago in my career, um, I uh, did a program with teenagers at the Contemporary Art Museum. Mm -hmm. And I remember some of the parents being very... Not sure they wanted their kids to go into the arts, you know? And I, and I, one day to a, a mother, I just said, look, I want you to look around here in this museum. Everyone here is paid, mm. including me. Mm -hmm. I love your child, but I don't do this for free. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's one of the things I think people have to understand. To understand, yeah. yeah. No, I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah, it is. It's, a, it's, it's I think, when people see, like you said, uh, they enjoy art. It brings people from so many different backgrounds together. They don't necessarily uh, take, in, take to heart or understand the full context or business behind it. And, right. Um, but this is a great way, the Visionary yes. Awards, to honor the women who are making this happen. And I appreciate you sharing that with us uh, today. We're going to show you a graphic on the screen. This is uh, the, a recap of this year's honoring. So these are the 2024 St. Louis Visionary Award honorees. Uh, and then uh, the information on this graphic is if you're interested in attending the award ceremony and party afterwards at yes. the reception, you can get ticket information and all of that at visawards.org. But don't go anywhere. I'm going to be joined by Luisa Otero Prada. She is a visionary, uh, she's a visionary award winner and in our second half. So we're going to take a quick break, but please stay with us. We'll be right back. My name's Stacy, I'm 57, and I was adopted in 2020. One teen can come in and, and make you look at life in a whole different way. You know, he's my father, so I look up to him a lot. If I can be 10% of the man he is, I'll be a, a happy person for sure. Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. Visit adoptuskids.org.
Oh. Have you seen that piece, piece on the Tiffany neighborhood on STL TV? No. Let me show you. My wife and I were looking for homes. We lived in the city all of her life, and there's just a, a different energy when you're in, in the city. Keep up with what's happening in your neighborhood. Watch STL TV. Be in the know. I can't believe I'm missing this. Don't get stuck at home with the flu. A flu shot is the best way to prevent the flu and its potentially serious complications. Don't get flu FOMO. Learn more at GetMyFluShot.org. Hi, I'm Sarah Thompson and welcome back to City Corner. Today we're talking about the St. Louis Visionary Awards and the 2024 honorees. And it's my pleasure to be joined by one of them now. Luisa Ortero Prada is the recipient of the Community Impact Artist Award. It's yes. so, so nice to have you here in studio to talk about your work and congratulations. No, thank you for having me. Yeah. In the first segment, we were going over all the honorees and your photo came up and I mm -hmm. said, we'll learn more in the second half. And so um, I'm so glad that you're here. So you're receiving the Community Impact Artist Award. Yes. Um, and I want to show some of your beautiful artwork and have you talk about it. Okay. So we'll get thank some you. of that up on screen. But uh, let's talk about your process and your work um, and what you do. Okay, well, thank you. Like I said, it's first, an honor for, for me to be one of the honorees this yes. year. Uh, you know, the Visionary Awards have been always for me like a, a beautiful event. Uh, I, like uh, every year I try to go, I have seen so many women you know, like honor, uh, like my role models mm -hmm. and very important people in, in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just, I just can't believe that, you know, I'm there this year. Uh, but yes, my process is, um, I think it's kind of simple for me. Mm -hmm. I am a um, acrylic painter, mm -hmm. but I, I also, I became a community artist. I went to uh, regional Arts Commission, Community Artist Program, and definitely it really changed my life. Like it changed the way that for me to see mm -hmm. what an artist can do. Mm -hmm. um, it was a, uh, it was a, a specific, special moment in St. Louis, uh, and it, for me it was also very, very um, special. I start to to see how I can. Um, Mm, share some of my culture yes. through workshops, uh, how I can meet people just doing painting parties. Yes. And for me, I just wanted to know more people in St. Louis, to know all the neighborhoods and the dynamics. Mm -hmm. And I start learning more about, you know, things that don't, you don't see when you go to the museums right away. Mm -hmm. So uh, I have been living in St. Louis now almost 20 years. Um, when I did the community arts training, it was for me like revealing St. Louis. Yeah. So my practice was started just trying to connect with people and trying to be around people in the arts. Yeah. Um, so I was called by museums to do workshops, uh, educators, um, workshop for children, for seniors. Um, I, so I start to, to see opportunities like to create um, murals, murals in, yeah. in, for example, we start in all our neighborhoods. Um, so that was the first mural I did, uh, well, coordinate and, and create it. I mean, it's beautiful. That's the one, yes. So clearly you're, uh, you're a visual artist and you're a painter. Um, I was reading, uh, you know, your background, you studied, so you're originally from Columbia, but studied your architecture yeah. and you work as, as an artist, really beautiful um, work. So are you, you're commissioned to do murals and public art and... and well, in some, when I started, it was pretty much like, mm, Let's do something, you know, let's try to do something. Uh, I was approached by the uh, high community and they were, they were trying to, to bring some beauty to a neighborhood and we found, it was like, I don't know, I didn't know the process at that time, uh, how difficult it was to create a mural. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was like driving around looking for walls, and, you know, like. <laughs> 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 so it was, uh, it was, it was kind of, 
Uh, but then I just send an email to you know my cat fellows and hey, we're looking for a mural uh, for a, a wall uh, to where to do a mural project. And then Suka Arts mm -hmm. came, uh, Andrea Hughes, who was at another visionary award. award so we start. I start to know people from Suka Arts Collective, and we created that mural um, on the on the outside wall of uh -huh. that organization, that um, building. And it was really, I couldn't believe how important it was because everybody was saying, oh, this is different. Mm -hmm. I mean, they say they, uh, it kind of brings joy. Yeah. And I thought, oh, that's important, yes. you know, to bring joy. Yeah, well, let's talk about so, that. I mm -hmm. want to bring up some of, um, are there particular, with your artwork, are there particular subjects that you want to paint directly yourself or mm -hmm. are you in the commissioning of it? Are you sort of asked to do well, something? How does that work for sometimes you? Sometimes the call for artists, for example, mm -hmm. this one right, that, right there, that is in Delmar um, Boulevard. Um, we created this, it was a call for art and it was about diversity, mm -hmm. about um, beautify, um, oh, bring the importance of the Delmar mm. um, Boulevard. Um, so we um, always want to bring beauty and yeah. joy. I know there's a lot of struggle and, you know, in mm. communities and a lot of things to say, but sometimes I want to focus in the beauty and the good side of yeah. things. Um, to have like a, like a more like a healing effect. Uh -huh. uh, so that's kind of like uh, drives me. Uh, and of course, I mm, like um, beauty of people, for example. Yes. I, that's mm -hmm. something that I, I see beauty everywhere with, you know, every ethnicity, every um, audience. So, yeah, I, I was also surprised today. I uh, was reviewing the past honorees of... Um, uh, the Visionary Awards, mm -hmm. and it's Kim Massey, who is a, uh, uh, she inspired me and I painted her. Oh, did you? And I was like, oh, I mean, I just, I, it's, uh -huh. it's just very, I'm very yeah, those inspired by mm -hmm. a lot of women in St. Louis. I, what I noticed too, with some of the, at least with the photographs that we have of your artwork, it's such a strong use of color. You have mm -hmm. such vivid yes. colors. They're not muted colors. Is that something that you've always sort of lean towards with more yes. vivid, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. About that I, am, more. I love color. I well, I grew up in the Caribbean, <laughs> part of Colombia. <laughs> and I, you know, the greens there are just very strong and flowers are just, uh, you know. So I am kind of, that's what I always bring. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's unconscious. It's not like I, it's just it's strong. It's always a uh, color. Uh, when I studied architecture, everybody was saying, oh, you should go to art school because you put too much color in your designs. And I was like, no, I, I like color everywhere. So yes. buildings, um, it's, paintings. <laughs> and I love with the photographs, at least the way they show up. And when you're doing <clears throat> public art is the contrast mm -hmm. in St. Louis with the brick sometimes yes. and the surrounding really, <clears throat> really stands out. Mm -hmm. What... As a working sort of artist, I mean, it's it, it, it's not an easy place to be, right? On the on the strong, beautiful, enlightening side, you're a creator. You are creating something that is mm -hmm. emotionally inspiring or moving people, and that's mm -hmm. a very unique role to play. Yes. Then the other side is it's hard on the financial side, on the business side, on the working side, like to know what's going to mm -hmm. come next. How yes. has it been for you as a working artist here in St. Louis to kind of find that balance? Well, it's no. I think it's, um, like you said, it's not easy. Uh, I think it's, um, but the creative side and the, it's rewarding in some ways because you do it and no matter what. That doesn't mean we work for free, but sometimes we have um, periods of time that it's nothing, it's not a sale, it's not, you know, um, oh, they didn't call for the exhibition. Uh, it's always, it's, I think it being an artist is a brave decision mm -hmm. um, because you had to endure. And I, I, I think um, you shouldn't leave it when it's not working because it's, then you're going to lose, you know, you, you have been building time, building a body work, building um, endurance, building resilience. So oh, every, I think it will pay off. Yeah. Um, I love to see sometimes on Instagram thing, you know, artists that are old and they are it's just, just, I want to be like them, you know, yeah. like I, you know, so young. So, 
<laughs> I was, you know, the inspiration to see an 80 year old woman mm -hmm. just drawing painting, being, you know, so I, I want to be that person. So yeah, I don't feel I'm going to retire. I'm going to be painting this, you know, as much as I can. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What would you say, you know, at the Visionary Awards, what's always really unique is that it brings generationally a lot of young artists with people who've been working yeah. in the arts in St. Louis for a long time. What are sort of encouragement do you say to younger artists about being in this field as a, as a visual artist, as a professional well, artist? Well, I think art is, um, art is such an important part of our culture and society. And you will find a place, you will find where to go if that is your call. Mm -hmm. You know, I I won't say, I won't encourage anybody to, oh, you have talent, you should be an artist, or oh, no, don't be an artist because, you know, you will die of hunger. Oh, <laughs> I will say, that is that your call? Go for it. Mm -hmm. And you will find um, where you will evolve, uh, where, how to evolve and where your gift is going to be. Mm -hmm. You know, I, uh, for me, everybody say, oh, you, you, you're good at color, you paint, but I never thought being a community artist was possible. I never even knew that was something that could happen. And, but then when I knew, I just immediately thought, oh, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy more doing connections and trying to find a place where I can um, do things with other people mm -hmm. because um, our community is very talented. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we're not, there's no lack of artists in the world. You know, it's so, so much talent. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm like, well, yeah, that's too much talent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, you know, just follow your call and so be around, be kind of aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Uh, surroundings. And um, I am feel I'm not separate from my community. So it's not like I am giving back yeah. or in, uh, that is not my case. And my case is, uh, is the way where, where I feel like kind of fish in the water, just trying to do stuff with other artists. Oh, I, I appreciate you sharing that before we have to wrap up, but I want to make sure people know we've been looking at your murals, mm -hmm. but you do have a website um, that oh. people for your paintings that you yes. have in your other artwork. Yes. Tell me it's uh, Otero, Otero Prada. Prada. LLC.com. LLC. LLC. Yes. Com. Okay. Great. We'll be sure to include that in our info on the video yes. when it's posted. And there is a, a link. We have some videos um, about the projects, uh, oh. mural and doors projects that we did in, oh, in North St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so um, much. Your work is beautiful. And Thank I'm you. just so happy and glad that you're being recognized. Thank you. It's an honor. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. Well, we've got the information there for you on the screen. If you can attend, these are, first, we're looking at the list of this year's honorees, and you see Luisa's name right there for the Community Impact Artist Award. Again, this is the 2024 St. Louis Visionary Award honorees. And then you can head to the ceremony, the award ceremony. It's taking place Monday, April 29th at 6 p.m. at the Sun Theater in the Grand Center Arts District. Uh, for information and tickets, head to visawards.org. Org. And again, I want to thank my guests earlier today and thank you at home for watching and keep it right here on STL TV Experience St. Louis.